Persepolis. Chapter 1. The Veil. This is me when I was 10 years old. This was in 1980. And this is a class photo. I'm sitting on the far left, so you can't see me. From left to right, Golnaz, Mashid, Nareen, and Mina. In 1979, a revolution took place. It was later called the Islamic Revolution. Then came 1980, the year it became obligatory to wear the veil at school. Wear this! We didn't really like to wear the veil, especially since we didn't understand why we had to. It's too hot out! Ooh, I'm the monster of darkness! Execution in the name of freedom! Give me back my veil! You'll have to lick my feet! Giddy up! And also because the year before, in 1979, we were in a French non-religious school where boys and girls were together. And then suddenly in 1980, all bilingual schools must be closed down. They are symbols of capitalism. Bravo! What wisdom! Of decadence. This is called a cultural revolution. We found ourselves veiled and separated from our friends. And that was that. Question break. This unnamed man is a recurring figure who represents the Islamic fundamentalist regime. Here, he's calling for a cultural revolution. Based on what you see in this slide, what can you infer he's really saying? Knowing that he's a fundamentalist, what do you think he means by a cultural revolution? Everywhere in the streets, there were demonstrations for and against the veil. The veil! The veil! The veil! The veil! Freedom! 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 At one of the demonstrations, a German journalist took a photo of my mother. I was really proud of her. Her photo was published in all the European newspapers. And even in one magazine in Iran. My mother was really scared. Have you seen this? Don't worry, darling. She dyed her hair and wore dark glasses for a long time. I really didn't know what to think about the veil. Deep down, I was very religious, but as a family, we were very modern and avant-garde. I was born with religion. At the age of six, I was already sure I was the last prophet. This was a few years before the revolution. Oh, celestial light! Before me, there had been few others. I am the last prophet. A woman? I wanted to be a prophet because our maid did not eat with us, because my father had a Cadillac, and above all, because my grandmother's knees always ached. Come here, Margie. Help me to stand. Don't worry. Soon you won't have any more pain. You'll see. Like all my predecessors, I had my holy book. The first three rules came from Zarathustra. He was the first prophet in my country before the Arab invasion. You must base everything on these three rules. Behave well, speak well, act well. I also wanted to celebrate the traditional Zarathustrian holidays, like the fire ceremony. Before the Persian New Year, Nowruz on March 21st, the first day of spring, only my grandmother knew about my book. Rule number six. Everybody should have a car. Rule number seven. All maids should eat at the table with the others. Rule number eight. No old person should ever have to suffer. In that case, I'll be your first disciple. Really? But tell me how you'll arrange for old people not to suffer. It will simply be forbidden. Question break. Margie decides she is going to be a prophet and creates her own holy book with important rules everyone must follow. If you were a prophet writing your holy book, 
What would your top three rules be and why? Every night, I had a big discussion with God. God, give me some more time. I am not quite ready yet. Yes, you are. Celestial light, you are my choice, my last, and my best choice. Except for my grandmother, I was obviously the only one who believed in myself. What do you want to be when you grow up? I'll be a prophet! Ha 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 ha! She's crazy! My parents were called in by my teacher. Your child is disturbed. She wants to become a prophet. What about it? Doesn't this worry you? No, not at all! Nonetheless, my parents were puzzled. So tell me, my child, do you, what do you want to be when you grow up? I want to be a doctor. That's fine, my love, that's fine. I felt guilty towards God. You want to be a doctor? I thought that, no, no, I will be a prophet, but they mustn't know. I wanted to be justice, love, and the wrath of God all in one. 